Mate, it's been a long pre-season, a good pre-season. You guys ready to go? No, absolutely. I think we're getting to that stage now where guys are begging uh, pre-season to finish. It, it should be time now for the real stuff to start. And you know, I, I can see the last week or so, is, now that we're getting closer, the intensity levels have definitely stepped up. It's a great sign for us. It's been a bit of a different pre-season you know, for success in last season. You know, everybody was at home the whole pre-season. Turn things around and have a successful season. That's what we told the guys. If the team does well, individuals will also reap the rewards. And we had so many guys away going all over the world to experience uh, cricket in, in different teams and, and, and different environments. That it's just great to get everybody back and try and draw from that experience that each guy has brought back, and just to get the old Dolphins family vibe going again. You're going to go to India now. There are going to be some unique challenges. How have you guys prepared for that? Is there anything that you've done specifically? Sure. I think. Um, it's, it's easier once you've been there a couple of times. It's uh, you know it's trying to explain. If you haven't been there, it's almost like trying to explain the colour to a guy that that he's never seen before. You know, it's, it's hard. But I think what we have to do once we get there is um, just let guys experience it. You've got to soak it up. And I think your attitude plays a big part. You know, India it's different. Don't expect South Africa over there or what, what else. You need to expect India. And, and there's so many common denominators and things in common that you can find with 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 the Indians. They love cricket, they're passionate about it, very knowledgeable. Um, you know, if you hook up with that energy, you're going to have a great time. I mean, we all share, share passion for the game, and, and guys will embrace that. In terms of preparation-wise, I don't think so. I think what we'll find is if we come back and we're successful, it's going to be because we, we did the basics the best, and there were also maybe one or two key moments that, that we won, and um, you know, that's probably going to determine the whole two or three weeks that we're over there. And then going, uh, going ahead, past the Champions League, you guys have got a bigger picture in mind going forward. So, sort of after the Champions League, is there is it back to basics, or is it just keep going with the momentum? No, that's a great question. Uh, you know, there is a lot of hype about Champions uh, Trophy, as there should be, but you know, it's only such a such a small part of, of the season. Although you know, it's a great opportunity, it's only three weeks out of six or seven months, and. Um, it's not going to define our season. Um, we're going to come back and then we need to, we need to go and running uh, with a 50 over competition that we're playing. And like you say, it is a, the big picture is, is we're busy creating a Dolphins legacy, um, which will be started last year or maybe even the year before. Um, is that to create a legacy? That, you know, each one of us are creating legacies in our own life, in our own marriages, in our own relationships children or friends or at work and it's no different for us as Dolphins cricket players. We are creating a, a legacy as, as, a, as a professional cricket player for the Dolphins but you know, for us the focus has been on the legacy as a Dolphins team. You know, this period in Dolphins history, the sort of 2013 to 2017, 18, whatever the you know, case may be and, and that is our focus and I think it's, it's, what's great about that is you know, one season or one trophy that we once can't uh, find that there should be more. Um, you know, so we have that motivation and we have that awareness as well.